Oh, good evening. Hello, Mauricio Morales. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, what, we don't have electricity? Uh, no, yes, I have. But it's, but my light here is very bad. In oh, okay, okay. It's, uh, uh, okay, no, not a problem. No. I'm able to. Here, the house, uh, oh, okay. a lot of, a lot of, uh, I don't know, how do you say goteras in English? Okay, leaks, leaks yes, leaks, yeah. Leaking. Uh, I don't leak, leaking, <laughs> leaking, yes. Very good. All right. And um, Dagoberto Rodriguez, how are you today? Hi, fine, thanks. My goodness, you look like uh, Agent 007. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my other personality. Yeah, the, the, that's your double. That's your double. Yeah, very good. Okay, so, Rafael. So it's to me. Yes. <laughs> Rafael Dabu, Dabu, Dabu. How are you today, sir? Hello. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. It's nice to see you. And today is uh, yes, is our, our last day of the week where we have four days a week uh, the class. And tomorrow you're going to mm -hmm. relax. And Saturday you're going to start working on chapter four. And Sunday, chapter five, right? And it's over. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> do you guys uh, were able to do the uh, um, the midterm and all the uh, exercises? I I'm beginning the the midterm. Okay, so you just started it. You started and uh, started. Rafael, you were you able, were you able to finish the uh, midterm? A mid mid term the exam yes yes oh okay okay and mauricio you too yeah right? me too uh -huh. okay. okay very good so let's um let's go in the, and see um if we can solve it or at least um if we can do something with uh, i'm going to share the screen with you guys hello, hello. and uh let's see so it would be this one right here. Yesterday we were working on um, on the listening part. Yeah, the listening part is very important. Uh, why? Because is uh, is in the listening uh, where I can see if there is anything that I need to um, learn. If there are some. Uh, uh, pronunciations or the latest sounds that I'm not recognizing yet. And uh, that's, that's the reason why we always give uh, listening parts uh, uh, to the students so they can see if uh, they need uh, more to, um, like grammar uh, pronunciations or sounds of the letters uh, so they can understand it. Uh, for example, if I say the but uh, you never talk to me. Yeah, you're going to say, what is boots? Teacher, what is boots? But if I say, but you never talk to me, and if you don't have the sound of the U that uh, is mm -hmm. uh, then you're going to say, what is but, but, but. So that's, uh, that's the reason we always uh, need to um, put some uh, listening exercises over here. So this one, it's telling you that uh, to listen to the conversation and check the correct information. We have, um, can you read this one for me, Rodrigo, the first one? Dagoberto Rodrigo, can you read the, the first uh, uh, answer for me, please? Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, I, I Dagoberto you. Rodriguez, yes. Okay. The woman vice the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Okay. The so, beaches mm -hmm. the beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Uh -huh. The woman think Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Okay, so the woman the woman visited Hokkaido for 
the first time. Yeah. So it sounds like the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Yeah. And whenever we have two, two uh, letters that sounds the same, we combine them to one sound. So in this case, we don't say first time. We say first time. See, we combine both T's and it sounds like one T. So we say first time. Okay. So it will sound like this. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Okay. Can you try one more time, okay. Dagoberto? The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. This for one. The first time. Yes, this one. Okay, first the... time. Okay, let me show you something, okay? So it will sound uh, different. Yeah, for the... Okay, now read it. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. The woman. No, the woman right here, right here. The... Only this one. Read it. Only this one. Yes. Uh, for the first time. Uh, First, uh, e, no. Aquí no dice no, first. Eh, ¿Cómo no, dice e? Así no, como está, Lea. Ah, for the first time. Oh, eso es la pronunciación correcta. Yeah. For the first time. For the yeah. first. Y si usted tiene esa pronunciación aquí, al norteamericano no le va a decir first time. Entonces no le va a entender si usted él le dice first time. ¿Sí? First time. Ok. Usted va a estar buscando first, first, y no es la pronunciación correcta. Entonces, por eso se le escribí aquí así, first time. Aunque la forma correcta, la, la written, es así, ¿verdad? Pero la pronunciación de ella se ve así, for the first time, ¿sí? Se ve diferente. Okay. Ahora dígala, for the first time. For the first time. Very good, excelente, good job, good job, ok. Ya hoy se oye diferente, ¿ok? Y así es como tiene que decirlo. For the first time. Ok. Si alguien tiene el mismo problema, dígame para poder ponerle otro ejemplo eh, aparte de este, ¿verdad? First time. En el caso de la E, first. Ok, the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Now, the second says, the beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded, crowded, crowded. Esta, esta se ve como id, crowded, crowded, crowded. Crowded, crowded. There we go, there we go. crowded, yes. The beaches crowded. in Hokkaido are not crowded, crowded. Entonces, en, otro, en otras palabras, esta se va a... A sonar, va a sonar así, vean. Así. ¿Ya? Yeah. Crowded. Crowded. Yes. Yes. Crowded. Así tiene que sonar. Crowded. Crowded. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y esta. Uh -huh. Esta. Sí, como esta. Crowded, 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 yeah. Entonces, crowded, 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 yes, crowded, yeah. Así, crowded, crowded, mm -hmm. crowded, crowded, yeah, crowded, crowded. Nada más que usted diga lo despacio, crowded, 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 crowded. Okay. Crowded. Very good. Crowd. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Ahí se ve mejor. Entonces, entonces aquí sería crowded. Yeah. The beaches, beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Okay. Ahora la tercera dice, the woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. 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 Yeah. The woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Yeah. Señorita. Sure. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, I cannot turn off the camera because I have very bad signal today. It's because okay. it's raining also, so it, it's it very is. Yes. difficult to it have is. the signal. Yes, it is. Not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you. Okay, so the woman thinks Okairo is pretty stressful. Probemos, Rafael, double. Stressful. <laughs> The woman thinks Ohio is pretty stressful. Very good, stressful. Esta es the woman. The, the woman. woman. Yeah, the, no, the woman. The yes. woman thinks Ohio is pretty is stressful. Ohio is pretty stressful. Very good. It sounds very good, Rafael. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's see if we can listen to the conversation. Uh -oh. It's asking me to download. Okay. Doing seconds. One second, please. Ooh, ooh. Okay, it's, uh, almost almost there. Can you hear it? So, so okay. it's very, right. very, no, we can hear, right there. We can hear well. In Northern Japan, it was my third time there. Is that better? A little bit better. I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. Check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah. That's why I go there. Okay, so which one... According to the audio, is the best answer is the uh, one, the second, or the third one? The second one. The second one. Second. Okay. One digit. The one. The beaches in Ohio are not yeah. crowded. Are not crowded. Okay, beaches in Ohio are not crowded. Very good. Now let's see the second, the uh, next one. Two. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have. I went there last year in July. How did you like it? It's an amazing city. I had a really great time there. And what about this year? Have you taken a vacation yet? No, I haven't. But I plan to spend a week on a beach somewhere <laughs> in August. Sounds good. Okay, which one is the best answer? The man had a great vacation in Paris last July? Or the man hasn't been to Paris yet? Or the man can't the man wait? man had a great vacation. Okay. The, the man had a great vacation in Paris. 
first one. Very good. Yes. Okay. My vacation in Paris last July. <laughs> it's so beautiful. What should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit some of the wonderful museums there, like the castles and mirrors. And you should miss the Ramblas. The Ramblas? Yes. It's a very long street. You can walk and stop for a drink or a meal there. Sounds great. And when's a good time to visit? Oh, I went there in June, and the weather was very nice. Don't go in the winter, though. It's pretty cold then. Okay. Thanks for your information. Okay, which one is the best answer? Um, you shouldn't go to the Rambas because it's a very long street, or you shouldn't miss one of the museums in Barcelona, or you yes. should visit Spain in January. Number two. The second, two. The second, second one. one. Second one, very good. Now let's see number four in the last one. I went to Vancouver and stayed there for a couple of days, and then I took a ferry. It was a really nice city on Vancouver Island. It has an interesting harbor with lots of sailboats. Is it a safe place? Oh, yes, and it's not polluted at all. It's wonderful. Okay, so is the first one uh, the best uh, choice? Uh, the woman went to Victoria, but not Vancouver, or Victoria has a nice harbor. It's dangerous, however. Or Victoria is both Victoria. safe and clean. Victoria. Victoria is both safe and clean. Safe and clean. Okay, number three, right? Yes, very good. Good job. So we have uh, we have them all right. Now let's see how do we do the scrambling, then the scramble. In this, um, we need to put uh, the sentence together. So remember that the, at the beginning of the sentence, there is only an uppercase. There is always an uppercase. So once you find the uppercase, the word with the uppercase, you know that that is the first word in the sentence. So that's a hint, right? Okay. So in this one, it says, uh, put the words in the correct order to come up with the proper sentence. So which one is the best option, do you think? The, the first and the second one are the same, but I suggest the second one. The second one. Yeah. Okay. Anybody because else? The, first, uh, the second is. Yes, it's a correct two. one. Yes. I think that. Yes, because see over here we have cell. Over here we have cell. And then the rest of it is an uppercase, up lowercase, right? And this one is all uppercase. So this is not the, the, the answer. Yeah. Because it's an uppercase. Yeah. Porque está todo en mayúsculas. And, the, and the, the only thing that, the only letter that has to be in uh, an uppercase is the beginning of the, of the sentence. Very good. Yeah. Okay, good job. Now, number two. Now, which one goes first over here out of this one? What is the first word that the, will guide you or will... Sure. Did you? Peru, Peru, yes, Peru. Peru. Okay. Yes. So, the first one. The Peru the is one. an extremely <clears throat> interesting country. Yeah. Okay. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Very good. What about the third one? What is the first word? Taipei, right? Taipei. Okay. Expensive for me. 
expensive for, it's, for uh, me. Too expensive for me. Too expensive. Number two. Taipei is expensive or too expensive. It's a four. The four. I think it's yes, four. this one right four. here. Yes. Yes, because see, this one is lowercase. This is not the correct one. This one's a lowercase. So Taipei is too expensive for me. Yes, very good. Excellent. We're going to submit this one. See what's going to happen. Very good. We have 15 out of 15. Now let's see the next one. Circle the correct word. Read the sentence and choose the correct adjective. Adjective is what modifies the noun, right? So New York City is very exciting, but it's stressful. Stressful, stressful right? Stressful. Safe, mm -hmm. but it's safe. New York is very exciting. City. Why is not safe? Why not boring? Because it's just bad. Hmm? Because it, it's exciting. It's opposite. Boring. New York affirmative is very exciting. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's like... Um, when we were learning about the uh, uh, to, also, but, and, what did we say about the word but? The use of it. Remember, ¿se acuerda cuando estábamos aprendiendo acerca de esos? ¿Y qué les dije yo de the use of but? ¿Para qué usábamos, usábamos el but? Like contraction. Con, yes, contract. Uh, contr Contradicting something, right? Mm -hmm. We're contradicting something. Entonces, after the word but, tiene que haber algo que está contradicting. That is good. Contradicting. Mm -hmm. So, tiene que ser algo que esté en contra de very exciting. Entonces, ¿cuál es? Mm -hmm. Es stressful. Safe no es. Definitivamente, safe no Stress. es. Safe no es. Yeah, no es safe porque es stressful. Stressful. Okay. stressful. Entonces, that's the reason why it's stressful, right? Lisbon is an interesting city and it's beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Por qué no noisy? No polluted. <laughs> why, why not polluted? Because uh, the characteristic is positive. Yeah, but the, I, and we use and and there we go. That's the answer. Yes, we use and to agree with the information, but to disagree with the information. So in this case, if I put uh, Lisbon is an interesting city, so that's positive, yeah. and it's noisy, that's negative. So it doesn't go with and. So it must be beautiful and. It's beautiful. Very good. It Yolanda. is beautiful. Very good, Yolanda. Um, Tokyo is a safe city. It's crowd. Crowd. Crowd, though. Yeah. Por qué no clean? Por qué no dangerous? What what is the meaning of the word though? Do you remember? Though. Aunque. Aunque. Yes. También. 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 Aunque. Yes. Aunque. It is though. Mm -hmm. Aunque es. Como lleno. Yes. Yeah. Está muy 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 transitado. Yeah. Concurrida. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Concurrida. Así como, eh, si, ustedes, si ustedes son del de, de centro, cuando de aquí de San Salvador en el centro, para el tiempo de Navidad 
o el, de allá, cuando hacían el carnaval de San Miguel, San, San Miguel Car Carnival, estaba bien crowded, eso es crowded, crowded, yes, concurrido, yes, mucha gente. My hometown, my hometown, ¿qué dijimos que era hometown, uh, Luis Alonso? Eh, ciudad, pueblo. Tu hometown. Colonia. No. Colonia. No, cuando dice my hometown. Ciudad. Para ciudad. Para ciudad. Para ciudad. Para ciudad. natal. Si yo quiero decir city, ciudad, solo pongo city, no le pongo hometown. Entonces, sí. ¿Dónde está mi casa, no? ¿Hm? Es un pueblo natal. Pueblo. Donde nació. Exacto, pueblo donde natal. Creció. Exacto, ese es my hometown. Yes. Mi hometown. Es de donde soy yo. Yes. Eso es lo que, lo que está diciendo, de dónde soy yo. Home. Home. Town, home, home, town, yes. Okay, entonces my hometown is pretty boring. Entonces es negativo o positivo? Yeah. It's negative. It's negative. Yes, it's negative. It is positive. <laughs> boring. <laughs> yes, no es positivo, es negativo, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Entonces, my hometown is very is pretty relaxing. Boring. Yes. And, and maybe your hometown is relaxing. Very good. Okay. My hometown is pretty boring. It's very relaxing. Hmm? Relaxing, however. Yeah. Yes, aunque sea yeah. aburrido, ¿verdad? Pero se siente bien uno en su pueblo natal, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Let's see how we did it, though. I think, uh, I see, 15 out of 15, very good, excellent. Now let's see how the we are in should, shouldn't, or can't. A should, dijimos que era, es un moral verb. Lo usamos para qué? Consejo. Recommendation, consejo, advice. Advice. Yeah. Y can't, mm -hmm. o can, o si, be, li, ti, yeah, possibility, el can, mm -hmm. el can. Ok, so complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't. Acuérdense, should, advices, can't, possibility. All right, let's start. This city can be dangerous at night. You... Stay should. out too late, huh? You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Me gusta su, su acento. You, you shouldn't. Should. You shouldn't. No, you should, ¿verdad? Porque si es dangerous, no le va a aconsejar que se esté afuera. Yes, no should. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Very good. Number two. You travel by subway late at night. There are no trains after midnight. See? ¿Sí? You can't, you, you can't. should, or you shouldn't. Can't. You can't. 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 Okay. You can't. Es posibilidad. No es posibilidad. You can't travel by subway late at night. There are no trains after midnight. Entonces está, si no hay, si no hay, eh, eh, Trenes después de medianoche, ¿podrá ella? ¿Hay posibilidad no, pues, de que pueda? No. 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 Okay. Number three. In Hong Kong, the weather is best in the fall. You shouldn't. Should. Should. You, you should. You should. You should. You should. Acuérdense, la L, la L no suena. La L no suena en should. 
Yeah, acuérdense. You should. Should. Ok. Should, yes. You should. Okay. Good. We got 15 out of 15. Let's see. Match the problem with the advice. Ok. Ahora nos están dando un consejo y vamos a match el, el problema. Uh, match quiere decir aparee, ¿verdad? Aparear. Match the problem with the advice. Let's see. A fever es el problema. ¿Qué hago con el fever? Yeah. ¿Me baño? Do I take a shower take when I have a fever? Yes. No. Okay. What would be the best? Take aspirin. Take some aspirin, right? Aspirin. Yeah. Yes. Um, ¿Por qué no hidden pad? Yes, it? it's hot. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, I, I'm already hot, right? Why do I need something hotter? No, I don't need that. Okay, a sunburn. What is a sunburn, Yolanda? Quemarse. En el sol. Quemada por el sol. Uh -huh. el sol, yes, sunburn. Por eso sunburn, yes. Okay, a sunburn. Pero a sunburn, ¿qué hago? I go to the dentist? No. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some Take some aspirin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sore muscles. Sore muscles. ¿Qué sore muscles? Muscles son esto, ¿verdad? No quería que lo vieran, pero. Son muscles. <laughs> son músculos, ¿ya? Yeah? Sore muscles. ¿Qué hacemos when we have sore muscles? You can use a healing pad. Healing pad, yes. Uh -huh. No usamos loción, ¿verdad? Porque no hace nada. Ni tampoco take aspirin. Go to the dentist. There we go. <laughs> okay. A toothache. 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 Oh. Sí, a dentist. Okay. See a dentist. Sí, a dentist. Okay. Sí, a dentist. Very good. Excellent. Good job. You guys know. No at all, huh? Saben todo. My goodness. <laughs> good job, good job. Okay, complete the conversation with bottle, jar, pack, or tube. ¿Qué es un bottle? Bottle. Bote. Una botella, ¿verdad? Una botella. ¿Qué es un jar? ¿Qué es un jar? Frasco. Se puede poner frasco. frasco, sí, se puede poner un, un, un frasco, sí, un jar, jar de candies, yes, un frasco con dulces, yeah. Eso puede ser un jar o una jarra, jar, yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Es un pack, pack. Paquete. De cigarros, uh -huh. un pack, yes, un pack of, of six yes. Pack. Six pack. <ríe> ¿Por qué dice eso, uh -huh. don profe? ¿Por qué se le viene eso primero? Ajá. Sí, ya Ajá. No, pero, oiga, es que el profe está hablando del six pack que se le hace uno en el estómago, así. Ese. Ajá. ¿Verdad, profe? Es suprema. <risa> mire, yo, mire yo, Yolanda, está con, Yolanda está con nombre, se lo puso suprema. <risa> ok. Uh, tube, ¿qué es un she tube? Know, she know. She, she knows, yeah. A tube. What is a tube? Un tubo. Un tubo, yes. Un tubo, uh, tubo, tubo de, de crema o algo, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Yes. Ok, uh, complete the conversation. Vamos a completar la conversación, así como el shall y el can't. Ok, entonces, la primera dice, Customer, what do you have for cold? For a cold? Pharmacist? Take this. Ok. A vitamin C. Butter. Take one every day. Bottle? Huh? Bottle. Bottle. Bottle of, of vitamin C. Take one every day. Okay. Un bote, ¿verdad? Very good. Customer, can I have something for drink? Dry skin? Pharmacist? I suggest this. 
Jar. 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 Jar of hand cream. Jar. Apply some every morning. Jar of hand cream. Okay. Jar. Okay. So no it's tube. Seguro que es jar. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Tube of head cream, hand cream. O es un jar. San deciso, ¿verdad? But it can be teacher because uh, I have a tube of cream. <laughs> tube of cream, yes. Uh -huh. es un, es un yes, but it's possible. No, but hand. Lo vamos a dejar así, ¿ok? Scale, no? Yes. We're gonna... Porque jar es un, es un pichel. No sé si hay pichel de, de cremas de mano. Oh. Oh, okay. eh, yo, yo creo que sí. Okay. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Eh. Para atletas tal vez. Como que diga un jar de, de toothpaste, ¿verdad? I take this a jar of, of toothpaste. No, sería tube of toothpaste. Ok. Customer, may I have something for a toothache? Palman says, of course. Try this. Two. 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 Ok. Two. Two. Of special toothpaste. Ahí sí, vea, porque dice toothpaste. Entonces, two. Yeah. Ok. Customer. Could I get something for a sore throat? Y el pharmacist dice, sure. Here's a... Pack. pack, yes, a pack of cough drops. Very, very really good it work. Really work. Okay. <laughs> you can take a tequila. <laughs> yeah, there we go, a tequila. Yeah, that, that would work better, huh? <laughs> okay, very good. Tequila. Tequila. Ta -ta -ta -ra 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 -ta -ta. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's see. Now is the reading time. Okay. Now I'm going to need the uh, uh, volunteers over here so they can help me to read. Just a second. Okay, one second. It's working, okay? Slowly but surely. Okay, good. Can you can you see it? Yes. Yes, I can. Can you read it? Yes, yes. with difficult. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I need I need um um, one person for the first paragraph, another for the second paragraph, another for the third paragraph. The first paragraph, okay, Noemi, Jesenia, first paragraph, and, uh, and dos participantes levantaron la mano. ¿Quién más levantó la mano? Okay, Florence Magaña y Yolanda. Y Noemí va a leer lo de Air, Air, Airport uh, Porters o Hotel Bellhops, todo eso, ¿ok? Y ¿qué más tengo? Ok, y um, un caballero que me lea donde dice When you are, when you, when you are not sure when about When you are not sure mm -hmm. about Me, teacher. Ok, ok, please. Okay, so go ahead. Two tip, not two, two tip. Yes. Not two tip. <laughs> the word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. Mm -hmm. Next. People who work in these places often get a pay low wage. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service. Okay. 
Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the, on the service. People such as parking bullets or bellhops usually get small. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines to, for tipping in the United States. Go ahead. Tip Here, continue. Please continue. But no, me, verdad? Or yes? No, no, no. Era la otra que Another me... person. Sí, yes. Okay, go ahead, Yolanda. Please. Uh, airport porters or hotel bellhops, one, one or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Parking wallets, one dollar for parking in a car. Hotel door attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Hotel maids, one to five per night. Taxi drivers, 15% of the bill, more if they help you with bags. Waiters and waitresses, uh, 15 to 20% of the bill. There is no tipping in fast food restaurants. Barbers or hair stylists, I don't know how, how can I pronounce this word? Uh, 15% of the bill. Yes, her stylist. Her stylist, I don't know. Her stylist. Her stylist. Mm -hmm. Her stylist, yes. Her stylist. Yes, okay. very good. Okay, next. It was a gentleman. Wait. When you're not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right, you don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember, thought your be behavior is more important than your money. Always treat service provide with respect. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Just be careful with this. Always treat service providers. And uh, the word remember though. Remember though. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, no. and Yolanda, this is a suitcase, suitcase, even though it is written sweet, but it is, uh, it, you have to, suitcase, suitcase, yes, suitcase, yeah, okay. very good, so tip, right, tip is what we give uh, to the people who are the, um, giving us a service, and if you're happy with the service, then you go ahead and uh, tip them, uh, the reason why it said to tip or not to tip. Yes, to tip or not to tip. Eh, eh, darle pro, pro, da, dar propina o no dar propina. Ese es tip, la propina. Yeah. Entonces, uh, eh, whether you want to give a tip or not, depends how you feel about the service you received. Okay. So that is um, what is this one telling you now let's go back to the um, to the questions and see how just a second one second okay okay now let's see if we can answer the the questions wages uh, wages uh, is not a tip right wage is is what you get paid for your work, okay? My wages, my wage is how much I get paid for my work. It's not for the service, okay? So what is wages? It's a regular pay like for a, a job no? or tips. Yes, in this case, it's a regular pay for a job or tip, tip for a job. For a regular job. pay for a job. Regular pay, regular pay. Job. yes. Regular huh? pay. Yes, very good. Now, when you when you say pleased, 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 
it means happy or satisfied or annoyed or bothered. Happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. Yes. Happy or satisfied. yes. Um, if you are pleased, that means that you're happy. Yes. Please, please, pleased me. Yeah. Please, pleased me. Yes. Uh, consciente me or, or uh, satisfy me. Yes, that's pleased. Okay. Depend on. Depend on. The word depend on is the change same. According change to. according to. Change according to. Yes. Remember that to. if you give your tips, it depends on the service that you received. Yeah. So depend on. That is one word. So don't separate it because if you if you separate the word, then it doesn't mean it doesn't mean the same. Depend is dependiente on a sobre, but when you combine those words together, you have a phrasal phrasal word. That means that it is changed according to whatever you are getting. So if you get good service, you get tips. If you get bad service you don't give any tip and if you if the tip is very good then you give extra tip right como nosotros verdad just like us <laughs> okay very good behavior what is behavior it's a way of acting or a way of feeling a way of, a way of a acting way of, of acting yes the way of acting of this one you don't read it off it's of oh, of of acting. of acting, no, of acting, of acting, oh, you, acting, of acting. Yes, of acting. Very good. Yeah, oh, if acting. you want, oh, yes, the way you read it is the way a way of acting, of acting, of acting. Very good. Treat. What is a treatment? It's act, act towards. towards. Act towards. <laughs> And this one, even though you see the W over here, you don't say Towin. towards. You don't say toward. You say towards. Towards. So, towards. So, yes. So, towards. Yes. So, ignore, so, in, ignore the W and the A and say towards. Towards. So, towards. Yes. Act towards. <laughs> Actors, very good. Oh my goodness, Christian Munoz, what happened? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm doing something wrong, huh? Respect. <laughs> what is respect, uh, Christian Munoz? It's courtesy. Courtesy. Courtesy, is that? Courtesy. Courtesy is uh, respect. So that means that uh, when you say please, Thank you. That's respect. Courtesy. Yeah. Very good. Rudeness is the other way. Rudeness is when uh, you you wake up in the morning, you don't say good morning. Somebody give you a hand, you don't say thank you. So that's rudeness. Okay. Don't be rude. I know. No, none of you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, none of you are rude. Very good. Excellent. Good job. If you have any question, please stop me, okay? If you see a word that you don't understand, it's a teacher. I don't understand. Teacher. That. Yes. I had the problem with the section two. Section two, okay. Let's go to section two. Okay, one second. Section two, one second. Section two, uh-huh. What is the problem? Uh, what uh, exercise? Uh, May I take your order? With, uh, no. No, okay. With, uh, you don't want to give, see. you don't want to give me any tip, huh? <laughs> it, <laughs> it's, um... No checks two. No check two two. No, the first the first is what should I do for a sore throat? It's important. Sore throat, okay. And, um, with this session I put 
Uh, picture a two. Lot of, a lot of um, answer. Mm -hmm. um, answer. Answer. It's a uh, 2.6. You visit the doctor, you so you take some medicine. Okay. But everything is. This one right here, 2.6. What should I do for a sore throat? Is this the one? Uh -huh. Okay, which one is the one that you, or all of it? All. Okay, over here, it says, what should I do for a sore throat? It's important, some vitamin C. So what verb goes to uh, with uh, this one? Uh, drink some vitamin C. Get. Hmm? Get or drink. Get. To take. Take, yes. Take. Take, take uh -huh. yes. Take some uh -huh. vitamin let me see. Yeah. Right. Some vitamin C, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces me confundí como ahí dice, no tienes que restringir lo que está dentro de los paréntesis. Yeah, aquí, ajá. Dentro de esto. Some vitamin uh -huh. C. Pero no le da toda la respuesta porque ahí falta el verbo. Take. Uh, take some. Mm -hmm. or, take I think it's take only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, aquí dice, it's uh, important, uh, it, it is important to take some vitamin C. Entonces solo tenemos que buscar el verbo. El verbo, yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, aquí, what Pero should I do? Infinitive form. Yeah, infinitive what form. What should I yes. do? What should I for do a for a fever? It's a, it's a good idea okay. to eat lots Drink. of liquids. To drink, yes. Uh -huh. Drink. To drink. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To drink. Okay. Lots of water. Lots of liquids. Lots yeah. Of liquids. liquids. Yeah. Liquids. What should I do mm -hmm. for a burn? Something what should I do up. for a burn? Yeah, they were a burn. Eh, aquí, aquí, eh, Está hablando de quemaduras, ¿verdad? No de las que estábamos hablando de quemadas del mm. sol. Quemadas del sol sería sunburn. Pero aquí es solo quemaduras. It should... Uh, yes. oh, it's sometimes helpful. Yes. yes. Teacher, uh, is, uh, ¿cómo se dice lo, lo, lo correcto? Eh, mm -hmm. The correct. Eh, the correct. Uh, it's, it's like, with the correct is is to take only only to take yes uh -huh. sí sí uh -huh. sí yo le estoy poniendo toda la oración para que vea uh -huh. para only que yes ah yo this was for, the wrong exercise no? for the for the sí para que vea uh -huh. for the question que eh, no, yeah in, in this it's case necessary uh, some yeah. no to drink mm -hmm. yes to drink, that's it. Yeah. To drink. Yeah, because this verb it goes in this in the empty space over here. So you put to drink. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna put to drink lots of liquids, verdad? No. Porque va a estar mal. Now mm -hmm. over here, what should I do for a burn? It's sometimes helpful. Okay. To drink some ointment on it or to, to take some ointment on it or to put to put to put to some put. Or to put yes okay and in this case what put. should I do for a tooth toothache? It's important yes what to put a dentist to take to visit to drink to visit. to visit yes to visit verdad to visit yeah. o también podemos decir to see to see adentro se acuerda que vimos eso 
al, 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 to see a doctor, to see a dentist, to see a doctor, yeah. And to visit a dentist. And uh, what should I do for a cough? Guess cough. <laughs> yeah. What should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to put some medicine, to drink some medicine, to visit some medicine, or to take some medicine. To take. To take some medicine. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I check my exercise in this moment, but I, I just, think uh -huh. someone my exercise uh, in my platform. Yes, uh -huh. but I think someone take my, my my platform because all my my answers are incorrect. Incorrect, Yolanda. In, yes, in my yes. No, Yolanda. Yes. O sea, yo, I think. Yo, yo lo, no, I in my case, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I revise. No, it. yes, because I, no, teacher, because. Uh, Yo lo hice bien en un momento, ¿no? Pero ahora tengo todas las preguntas, las respuestas malas. Yo, o I sea, hoy lo estoy chequeando. Yolanda, I revised it <laughs> y, y tenías 100%. Yeah, no, yo sé, pero, pero ahora estoy revisando mis respuestas uh -huh. y creo que alguien me corrigió y todas, o sea, están buenas, pero las respuestas están malas. Se las voy a enviar. Eh, ¿Se acuerda que en este ejercicio Teníamos sí. aquel error de respuestas. Sí, sí, sí. Que tú, donde que... estaba to take some and to take. Ajá. Es, es que habían Entonces dos... alguien lo corrigió. Habían dos. Ay, que las puso sí. todas. Porque habían dos. Sí, no, sí. o sea, creo que alguien de la plataforma. Ajá. Ajá. Habían dos. Así que se lo voy a mandar. Ajá, habían dos. Y ya... están malas. Uh -huh. <ríe> Soy que estoy bien. Ahorita estoy revisando y todas están mal, mal hechas. Así que quiero que me devuelvan lo que había hecho antes. Ajá, no, lo robado. Yo, yo, yo creo que, se, que al corregir, como que se, como que se, se, se movió una se casilla todo. y por eso sale mola, porque me pasó lo mismo a mí. Mm. Mm. Sí, sí. En el caso, en el caso que cuando digamos un, no responde mal y le aparece que este no sé cómo dices casi correcto creo que dice o parcialmente correcto y digamos uno vuelve a enviar la, la respuesta y la ponía buena uh -huh. se toma la primera que se envió o ya la segunda corregida la segunda corregida the second one correct uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Porque yo la pregunta que tuve con, no sé cuál ejercicio fue, ay, no me acuerdo que fue con either o either, no, hombre, quizás como una 20 veces. Y se <risa> 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 le salió buena al final. Sí, porque me ha ido ese, la señorita y la señora Yolanda y no sé quién más. Ok, muy bien. Thank yo you, estaba llorando. <laughs> okay. No, lo hubiera puesto en el chat para haber ayudado. I'm sorry, ok. Me lo puesto, lo I puesto. put it in the chat, but did, did, did you didn't help, uh -huh. um, I help didn't me. I didn't help you. Yes. Ok, let's but, see. Yeah, what's the moment? What is it? El, el, but el, around 11 p.m., teacher. El, sí, le, sí, le contesté la segunda, la, el siguiente día. Sí, me acuerdo que le contesté. Oh, you put me. Morning, I think that you put me. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, de, aquí me salió llorando. Me está costando entender <laughs> neither, either, dijo. Yo le dije, good morning, Raquel. Y me dice, ya no lo necesito, teacher. Ya lo contesté, me dijo. <laughs> de verdad, se lo voy a mandar aquí. <laughs> se, no contestó. Sí, dije, ok. Ya, me estuvo, ya estuvo, thanks, me. Ok. Ya le puedo, me puse, gracias. No fui muy criadita. <laughs> no, I'm just. Uh, she's a rude person. Yes, she's rude. <laughs> yes, she's rude. <laughs> I was so frustrated because I, 
Ay, pero, qué... pero a medianoche, imagínense yo que estaba así a medianoche. Pinche, <risa> ¿dónde está a medianoche? <risa> y, en la, y en la mañanita le contesté, me dice, ya, ¿para qué? Si ya estuvo, ya lo arreglé. <risa> y eran las 7 de la mañana que le contesté, imagínense. Ok, very good. Excelente. Ok, entonces um, hasta ahí llegamos. Thank you for, um, for your effort y todos los que terminaron el midterm y los que no lo han terminado, pues terminenlo en la noche, ¿verdad? Para que eh, mañana tengan tiempo para trabajar en la, en la plataforma el 4 y el 5 y, y el, el lunes nos vemos otra vez. Ok, eh, thank you. Have a okay. good night, all of you, and rest well. Thank And you. I see you Monday. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Ciao. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.